Hey, what's up, everybody? Team SNES here, coming at you from Los Angeles, California. We here at Team SNES want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. We got an amazing gift for you today. It's how to do an infinite combo on Dead Rising 4. Pretty amazing, right? Now, if you want to see more amazing glitches in the future, please subscribe to the channel and also follow us on social media. All my Xbox fans, Team SNES has a club. Come on and join us. Everyone is welcome. On here, you'll see a lot of unreleased content, and it'd be a perfect way to bond with the team. And for all my PlayStation followers, don't worry, everything will still be posted on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you won't be missing out on anything. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Load in on K6, make your way to the mall like you normally would following the mission. Once inside, make your way to the center. You'll see a giant cage, and inside the cage you'll see a go-kart. Get inside. Now this part is very, very important. So please, pay close attention. Follow the same route I go. What I'm doing here is continuing the mission, which is to chase down Vic, but taking another route. What you don't want to happen is fall too behind or go too far ahead because you will fail the mission. Ha, Vic, your flashbangs have no effect on me, which is the reason why we grabbed the go-kart. And also because you would have ran out of stamina by now. Okay, we're reaching the ending point. Be very careful right here. You want to make it past the gate before it shuts on you. Okay, now we're just going to head straight down this path and start a cutscene. I'm going to skip the cutscene, but basically you reach the last boss fight, which is Calder. Walk into the shop, jump on top of these soda machines, perform exploit theory's ceiling breach by just jumping and you'll pop up. Now please follow these steps very, very carefully. Jump over here, walk down this way. Now right here, perform a long jump and you'll land on top of the parking structure. Now make your way down this way. Look to the right, look down, and you should see the safe house. Jump down there. Now make your way right here. Jam yourself in this corner and repeatedly jump until you breach into the safe house. For time purposes, I'm just gonna show you a location on the map that you need to head to, and you should have no trouble reaching that destination. And that is the Thirsty Amazon. Perfect, once you reach there, you see that blue crate, jump over it, there should be an exosuit right behind it. Pick it up, put it on, now make your way back to the bar again. That blue crate that we jumped over, activate it. Perfect, we have the suit we need to initiate the infinite hit combo. One last step, head over to this location, which is right outside the medieval town. There should be escalators, go up hop over, run all the way up. Now right here, we're gonna do that ceiling breach again. Repeatedly just jump. When you go through, fall into oblivion. What should happen now is you spawn back at the boss fight and your exosuit should be infinite. Now make your way to the second story. Make sure you lure Calder your way. Go inside this store, jump over the counter, wait for Calder to come at you. Perfect, now he's in position. All you do is shoot him, there's a sequence you need to know. For every 25 hit combos, let go of the firing trigger for one second, or else your gun will overheat and mess up your high hit combo. Calder can still jump over this counter, but if you're performing the sequence, it should prevent him from jumping over so you have nothing to worry about. And you're probably wondering why doesn't the last boss die? You're actually in a location that doesn't activate the cutscene that defeats the boss. Therefore, you're able to endlessly shoot him without worrying about defeating him. Now sit back, relax, rack in the unlimited XP, and also reach worldwide record-breaking hit combos. Now there's certain things I want to go over so you have a better understanding as to why we did certain things. For instance, why we chased Vic through the mall. For some reason, when you get past the gate and you enter the cutscene, all the shops are open during the boss fight which is not supposed to happen. They're actually locked during this boss fight. Second, why did we need to go get the exosuit that we did? This specific exosuit is not located in this last boss fight, and it's the most effective when it comes towards the hit combos. That's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and comment, and let us know what you thought about the video. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year's. Team SNES, out.